when you're into making things on the lathe you'll know how costly it is to buy materials and you can save yourself a lot of money by um, collecting items and recycling them and these weights here are a good source of material uh, the actual weights are cast iron and obviously you can get them in various different um, diameters the um, bars are made of good quality mild steel and have sections that are um, knurled which you can use to make collars and things and it's a nice diameter so you can get some good components out of that and this evening I'd like to show you how I've made an indexing um, plate uh, for a chuck and an indexing device which I use on the um, bench drill So that's the bore finished on the weight and now I'm going to use the same tool to do the finished face. And then just the burr. So that's the turning operations done on the weight, finished bore and face off flat both sides. So the finished bore of the weight is the same size as the finished bore on the back plate of the um, chuck. And I've got this two inch brass bar end and I've turned the diameter down to suit the bore. So it fits on there nicely like that. I've um, done a 8mm thread down through the centre and I've um, got a disc out of my spare parts bin which will go on the front like that and lock the weight onto the brass bar so I'm using it as a temporary mandrel um, because eventually I'm going to use the brass bar as the finished component that will hold the weight and the chuck together and using this method I've finished turned the diameter and now I'm going to do the 24 evenly spaced holes around the diameter. So I'm using my Myford back plate with the 24 holes, the indexing back plate. And now I'm going to just do the centre drill holes all the way around. So I've done the centre drill holes all the way round and now I'm going to do a pilot drill all the way round and then the um, finishing drill. So this is the last hole um, with the finishing drill 
I keep a shortened um, finishing drill um, to do the holes the same diameter as the pin on the original indexing back plate. And that's the, all the indexing holes done. And then I'll just take it off and deburr it by hand. So after using the brass as a temporary mandrel to do the indexing holes on the weight, um, I've left it in the jaws in exactly the same position. And um, now I'm gonna turn uh, this diameter further down um, and blend it in so that the weight can go on the front like that and there will be enough brass bar protruding at the front to go into the bore of the back plate of the chuck so that will fit on there like that together so that's the finished turning done and now put the weight on the chuck back plate push that on as far as it goes and then pull the weight up to the back of that and then I do a mark with a pen either side of the weight just rough guide take that off and in the center of those two marks I'm going to do a shallow Loctite groove. So this is the finished components. Um, this is the brass piece that I've just finished on the lathe. Um, before I turned the back diameter there that goes in the drill um, table, I um, put the back plate on there and used a transfer punch to get the holes correct and drilled and tapped to hold that back plate on the front there. I forgot to mention earlier that this is an 80mm Chinese mini lathe chuck and back plate. So the back plate is secured to the front of the brass uh, with three 4mm Allen bolts. And now I'm securing the chuck to the back plate using the 6mm um, screws. These screws are like round headed screws but they're very um, narrow um, so that they won't clash with the indexing plate. Now when I was machining the brass I mentioned about putting a um, groove in the diameter which I did um, for Loctite um, but I've decided not to use Loctite now to put the um, indexing plate on um, because if I do it will lock on there solid and I won't be able to get at the screws um, if I ever want to take the chuck off for cleaning. So what I've decided to do is I've utilised the holes that are already in the um, Chinese uh, mini lathe back plate and used a transfer punch um, to do the holes on the indexing plate and I've threaded those to 8mm and made up a couple of studs which screw in there like that and um, these will hold the chuck in position on the indexing plate and um, stop it from moving but I can also take it off whenever I like so that I can clean the chuck or use the chuck on um, another machine so that goes in there like that and it can't turn uh, nice and solid 
and that diameter there goes through the table of the drill and this one screws in the underside and I faced this off so that I've just got a slight um, bit of end float so that the indexing plate can turn nicely but that there's not too much movement so that goes into the 8mm hole through the centre of the brass. The brass piece is machined so that it doesn't come right the way through the plate or the cast iron plate. This is so that the actual cast iron rests on the uh, drilling um, table and creates a nice solid working surface. The indexing pin assembly I've made out of another piece of brass and used my um, cross drilling adapter on the lathe to do the hole through the side. Um, six millimeter and I've used a six millimeter um, stainless steel pin so it goes through that nicely like that turn the end down to fit the holes and just put a little brass handle on the end um, when you're making this part um, it's easiest just to leave the face um, plus from the hole and put the actual drilling assembly on the drill and keep offering it up with the pin and um, taking it back to the lathe and facing off until you get the pin to go through into one of the holes and the height will be exact. Um, I found that's the easiest way to do that hole. Just make sure the drilling table is nice and clean and the back face of the indexing plate and then that one drops in the center like that and the washer and the allen bolt screws in from the underside like that and then the best way to fit the pin assembly is to put it into one of the holes and the bolt goes up through the slot of the table of the drill and then the washer and allen bolt go on the underside of that and you hold it in place while you tighten it and that's why I put a knurl around the diameter of that one and just tighten that one up and that's ready to go so I've got this test piece of brass and um, I'm going to drill 12 holes around the face, equally spaced holes. I've set the centre drill to depth and um, to get the uh, pitch circle diameter you have to move the table to one side. and quick and there we have 
12 equally spaced holes around the face of the brass. I didn't go too deep because I don't want to waste my brass bar end. So I'm very pleased with the performance of the toll and that it cost me less than five pounds to make out of a few scrap items. There's two test pieces I've done now and it's worth collecting these weights up if you see them in car boot sales or um, the junkyard. Nice soft cast iron, easy to machine. If you were to buy a billet that size it would cost you a lot of money so I reckon it's a nice tool, nice project to make and um, I reckon it's going to be a very useful tool to have in the workshop.